for something completely different. Got a little variety tonight. Not, not the usual stand-up company. I've got got uh, what appears to be the president of the United States. Give it up for MJ Trump. <laughs> thank you, thank you, San Antonio. Just back from Puerto Rico, where I was helping save lives. <laughs> yeah, right. What am I doing here in San Antonio? Well, I'm on a goodwill trip. I brought one million extra dollars for the hurricane relief for Hurricane Harvey because Harvey really, really blew away. Everybody's concerned about that whole Russian mess. <laughs> Breaking news, white women in Nevada. In case you haven't heard about it, they let O.J. Simpson out of jail. Now this is really a warning for blood women, blood white women. Get yourself a gun, some mace, maybe one of those damsel in distress tasers because the juice is on the loose. <laughs> Now I can tell that joke here today because I don't see a whole lot of blonde women of white persuasion. <laughs> However, my millionaire friend in town, Red McCombs, I talked to him just the other day and he told me most of the really, really hot white women are already somebody else's trophy wife up there at the Dominion, the Ram, or Stone Oak. The rest of them are still working the pole over there at PT's. <laughs> what am I doing here today? Today, we're gonna to close the book on the Russian collusion mess. We're gonna talk about some foreign affairs, i.e. North Korea, <laughs> rocket man. Then we're gonna cover a few things a little bit closer to home. Let's get right to it. First off, if there are any fact checkers in the building tonight, you get the night off. Don't check my facts because you know, I just spit it out as it comes, half truths, alternate facts, political incorrectness, doesn't matter what I say, the naysayers will twist it, turn it, and put it out as fake news. <laughs> Let's get to the Russian stuff. Six months, no evidence. I'm gonna call it as your president, case closed. I hear they're indicting Comey. Doesn't matter. The Russians, I will tell you, I sat face to face with Vladimir Putin himself at the G20 summit. For two hours we spoke. We were only supposed to speak for 20 minutes. During our collusion, oops, did I just self-incriminate? Doesn't matter, I pardon myself. During our collusion, we came to a conclusion. We had a consensus. We argued out some points. We debated some things. We came to the conclusion Slavic wives do more stuff. <laughs> <laughs> now that nobody cares about Russia, I'll go ahead and admit it. I've had ties to Russia for 35 years. Where do you think I'm getting my mail order brunch? <laughs> now, I could talk about blowing the world up all night long. So let's get to it. <laughs> North Korea, Rocket Man, you're playing with fire. Kim Jong, stupid. Did you not see the United States shoot 59 Mohawk missiles at Syria when they crossed the line? Kim Jong, short. Did you not see the United States launch the mother of all bombs on Afghanistan? Kim Jong, stir fry. I got news for you. Bad things come in threes, and I've got 2,000 Mohawk missiles pointed right at you. That's right. Y'all seen the Million Man Army on CNN? Shiny boots, regimented marching, 50 wide, 100 long, squadron after squadron after squadron. Rocket Man, line that Million Man Army up. We'll knock them down like bowling pins. That's right. Kim Jong's fool, you mess with the United States of America, We'll turn you into egg, foo, yong. Now, I'll blow the world up all night if they let me keep going, but let me cover a couple things closer to home before I leave. Too many celebrities are calling the Donald. 
Just yesterday, Sylvester Stallone called me. Hey, yo, Donnie! Sly, you know I hate it when you call me Donnie. He was pitching a reality TV show I didn't much care for. I think he was calling it Dancing with the Idiots. <laughs> Sly, based on your last movie, Expendables 4, the only job I could offer you, perhaps, would be Secretary of Bombing. <laughs> Got another political appointment coming up next year. I'm going to get to pick one more Supreme Court justice. The last time it was a big debauchery. It was awful. It took two months. This person that I'm going to select next time, she's, it's going to be someone more popular than the Donald. Both sides love this person. Y'all want to know who? Who? I'm going to pick for my Supreme Court justice pick. My next Supreme Court justice pick is Judge Judy. Yeah. yeah! Judge Judy's a winner! <laughs> Remember, folks, okay, what did we do tonight? We closed the book on the Russian involvement. We made Egg Fu Young out of Kim Jong stir fry, i.e., <laughs> Rocket Man. And we covered a couple things a little bit closer to home. Remember, I'm the president, and you're not. <laughs> I'll be the president until they impeach me, but I don't think that that's going to happen. What I'm forecasting is the next three and a half years of nothing, nothing but 20 for carrot gold Donald Trump jokes. It's going to be huge. <laughs> God bless San Antonio. God bless this barbecue joint. And God bless America. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Thank you for the president.